Admiral, it's an honor to meet you. Good to see you, Pete. And even better, it's an opportunity, a wonderful opportunity to discuss two of our favorite subjects. That would be the military and operations research. Um, just following up a little bit on Barry's questions, how did your OR education at NPS contribute to and help shape your career as a naval <coughs> officer? And how does your OR background continue to serve you now as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Well, maybe I'll take the second part first, which is how does it help me now? Uh, one of the things that the that the graduate education in OR uh, taught me was uh, how to think much more critically than I had before and really to frame a problem. Um, and where that really helps me in this job is being able to still frame a problem in my mind uh, and to look at it differently than many people who bring them, bring those problems to me. Uh, and then I have, a, I have an opportunity to ask the right questions or, or try to ask the right questions. Uh, which oftentimes those that bring me products haven't thought of. And so the ability to frame a problem, th and this is the systems engineering, the, the applied math, uh, that, that I try to bound a problem and then ask hard questions uh, that get to, uh, that would push the system in a direction of an answer that clearly wasn't forthcoming by the time it uh, got to me. And I can apply this to, I can apply to the areas I already talked about but I can apply it to just about every single difficult challenge, including policy challenges. You know, what's our policy long-term going to be uh, with respect to uh, what, where do I support, how do I think about policy with respect to China and the war fighting pieces that are a part of that? How do I think about it in my dealings with non-government organizations, and I'm doing that much more routinely? How do I think about it when I'm dealing with the challenges that I see for USAID, uh, part of our government that is re-energized now under new leadership and, uh, and also uh, as we all are and need to be resource constrained. So where at my level decisions are oftentimes about apportioning resources, where is the best uh, uh, and to use a, an OR term, you know, where's the optimum place to, to apply your resources? Uh, and we need to do that. We've had increasing budgets for the last, almost the last decade. Those days are over, uh, and, and we need to be able to think more critically, prioritize, and optimize in ways that we haven't been forced to do, and analyze as well in ways we just haven't been forced to do in the last 10 years because we've, um, we've had plenty of resources. And, and we need resources to fight these wars, but they've also surfaced a whole different set of problems that we hadn't thought about before these wars started.